Hello everyone, I am going to introduce you to this web panel for the Cessna 172 Classic of Microsoft Flight Simulator. With this panel, you will be able to set and view the gauges of the aircraft by tapping and dragging on the screen with the browser of your tablet, whether it's an iPad or an Android tablet. Let me show you how to use it. First, download the application zip file from either GitHub or FlightSim.to. Then, unzip the zip file. You will find readme.md file and an executable msfsvpanels.exe. Download and install the runtime libraries stated in the readme.md file inside the zip file. Execute the file msfsvpanels.exe in the unzip folder. This window security alert dialog will pop up the first time you run the application. Press the allow access button. A QR code and a link will be shown in the application. You can either scan the QR code with your tablet to open the panel or type in the URL displayed on the browser of your tablet. Assuming you have already started Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can now press the connect button to connect the web panel with the simulator. Tap the switches to toggle their state. Tap the left or right side of the magneto to rotate the magneto switch to the left or right. Tap 1 or 0 on the power and avionic switches to turn the power and radio on or off. Tap full or up to increase or decrease the flaps. Drag the needle to adjust the reference EGT. Drag the airspeed indicator to adjust the TAS card. To adjust the wing's location of the attitude indicator, drag the wings up or down. Drag the right side of the gauge to adjust the heading bug. To adjust the heading indicator, drag the left side of the gauge. Tap the push button to reset the error of the heading indicator to zero. Drag the altimeter to adjust the altimeter setting. Drag the compass rows of CDI of NAV1 or NAV2 to adjust the omni bearing. Drag the bearing card of ADF to adjust the heading of the card. To change the selected altitude, tap the selected altitude at the top middle of the screen, then type in a new value with the number pad and tap enter. To change the radio frequency of COM1, COM2, NAV1, NAV2, or ADF, tap the corresponding area, then type in a new value with the number pad and tap enter. The new frequency will be stored in the standby frequency. Tap the double arrow icon to swap the active and standby frequency. To change the transponder code, tap XPDR at the bottom right of the screen, then type in the new code with the number pad and tap enter. Tap the transponder state next to the transponder code to change the transponder from the off state to the alt state. Tap the fuel selector, fuel valve, and parking brake to change their corresponding state. Tap the eye icon to show all draggable and tappable areas. The buttons AP, NAV, APR, REV, ALT, VS Plus, and VS Minus are simple buttons. Tap them to activate the corresponding functions. Please note that you should select the navigation source to NAV1 to use the NAV function. The source code and binaries are stored in my GitHub repository. The source code can be built with Visual Studio 2022. If you encounter any issues, please post them on GitHub. I will try my best to fix all the bugs you reported. I hope you find my work helpful and have a nice flight.